All right, Jed, wouldn't it be cool if uh, when we get a new arena downtown, yeah. All-Star Weekend in OKC, that kind of sounds nice, doesn't that's it? A, that's a ring to it, doesn't hmm, it? I wonder. I like that. Maybe <laughs> there's some thoughts on that. Uh, yes. Built this arena and got that uh, front and center. That'd be cool. How are we uh, doing outside, Jed? Well, we got some allergy problems this morning. I allergy alert. This is cedar season now as we go toward mid to late February through mid to late March. Cedar trees, and there's a lot of them. They're all those green, bushy trees that are all around the state <clears throat> they tend to turn to a more of a rust color this time of the year that's those trees getting that pollen activated and then on these windier and warmer days that pollen then will burst away from those trees and they go up in the air and they're really just nasty they're like uh in the fall uh you know your ragweed that's something that causes a lot of problems cedar's actually even more you know, symptomatic where you really feel it. So this is a big problem maker for Oklahoma. And when it hits that alert status, very high, you may not be allergic to cedar pollen, but you can still have some irritation because of as much as is in the air. So you probably could be feeling that today. Congestion, runny nose, itchy eyes, you know, the, the itchy skin and, and congestion and coughing and that kind of sneezing, that kind of stuff. That's what we deal with with that. And so hopefully we'll get some improvement here today. North winds will take over. Hopefully that'll blow it the other direction, blow it down to Texas. All right, let's check out the current weather right now. 40 this morning. It's cold this morning. Grab a coat. Uh, 36 on that windshield. Integris cam bright and beautiful here this morning. As we look at our current temps in next gen, have some low 30s now around El Reno. North winds have taken over there. Well, as you go to the other side of the metro, you go to Jones at 48. And Shawnee, a south wind right now and 51. So there's kind of a range going on right now. There's a pretty sharp cold front now nosing down into Oklahoma City as it keeps nosing on in. It's pulling colder air down our way, and we'll feel the effects of that coming up today. So while we were close to 60 yesterday, we'll be closer to the mid-40s coming up for today. Those north winds will blow. They'll pick up 15 to 25, may see a few higher gusts than that. So prepare for some windy weather today. There's your gusts and your winds, 15, 20, 23 miles per hour. Those will be sustained winds. That's going to pull in colder air today, so low Middle 40s, that's what we'll be today with partly cloudy skies. So grab the coat. You'll need that here out the door this morning. Around the state, up in that colder air, 30s across northwest Oklahoma, 40s and 50s south and east. And you can see behind that front, winds are not terribly strong, but they are picking up. A few of those gusts are up around 25 miles per hour, and that is providing a chill to uh, northern Oklahoma. Right now, Ian, you guys are 29, uh, Woodward 28 right now, so there are some colder wind chills blowing in. So that front now nosing down into Oklahoma, and as it does, that's pulling in some colder air. There is some Arctic air to our north. This will kind of pull some of that down into Oklahoma, so a little glancing blow of some Arctic air that will affect our weather today into tonight. You see a little patch of some snow there in the northwest parts of Oklahoma. Don't be surprised if you have a little light patch of snow or a few flurries around. That quickly moves out on Saturday. We'll dry it out. And really, the forecast into next week looks pretty dry as we begin to warm it back up into the ridge of high pressure builds in. And that'll bring some drying weather for us. Maybe some windy weather, too. And if there's any chance of rain, seeing a slight chance there for central portions of the country sometime next Thursday. So we'll watch that, see if that can't to move a bit more further south down into Oklahoma. That scoots off and then it moves out, so no great chances of rain for central Oklahoma showing as it looks right now. Pretty fast jet stream going into next week. 40s and some 50s all on the way here for today. As we check out precip today, there may be a stray shower or two, maybe a stray shower in far parts of far east Oklahoma, central and west, mainly dry. And then here's that snow chance overnight tonight. A few flurries, uh, maybe a passing snow shower. If there's some accumulation, I think the Panhandle area having the most likely opportunity for a little light dusting of snow. Might see it nose into far northwest Oklahoma. Elsewhere, across northern into western Oklahoma, there might be a few passing flurries going into overnight tonight into your Saturday morning. So we will be watching that here. Lows tonight bottoming out, some 20s. Near 30, here's the metro temps. They'll be dropping into the 20s and 30s going into Saturday morning. And as we look at your temperatures into tomorrow, kind of cold. 30s, some low 40s around, so we'll drop it off. Kind of cold there for your Saturday. But we're going to have a quick warm-up back up in the 60s and even approaching 70 by the middle part of the week ahead of the cold front. That'll dip us a little bit. But overall, looks pretty good on the nine-day forecast. Coldest day coming in on Saturday.